In this tutorial, we will see how to create the first member from starting of the software. First, we start Idea Statica, and we select the connection module. Once the program started, you will see this window that assists us in creating a new project easily. Here we have four columns representing the class, geometry, design type and parameters of the new project. You can choose in-plane connections, beam-to-beam -beam connections, base plates, trusses, special connections and blank project from the class column. According to my selection in the first column, options in other columns will change. The reason is, for example, the geometry column shows the type of first column, class. Therefore, the second column depends on the selection in the first column. To give an example, if I select beam to column in the class section, I can choose these kind of geometries. However, if I select base plates, the options will differ as seen in the geometry column. Let's continue with this beam to column class. Similarly, the third column namely the design column, also changes according to the geometry column. Design column represents possible design types of the same topology. It does not mean that we can only work with a design model, just it as appears here. We will be able to modify the components, number of bolts, welds, and geometry easily after creating the project. Once we start the project, we can even change the class. For example, you can start with a beam to column template and end up with a three-dimensional connection. As a result, all these templates are just shortcuts to make the design process easier. We can select some parameters for our project from the fourth tab. Giving a name and description to our projects, make them organized and have the information included in the report. I will be able to select the grade of steel, bolt assemblies, and the grade of concrete. These are default settings, and you can upload or select new materials in your whole process. That means, if you will not select any other kind of materials, these will be used. Lastly, we have to choose the design code that we are going to use. It is important to be consistent to choose an standard because, all the standards have different calculation methods, different details, or for example, different bolt qualities. Suppose that, we do not know which template is needed, or none of those templates is a good fit. In such cases, we can use the last option as a blank model. That means we do not have to define any class, geometry, or design. Let's click on to create project button with these selections. As you can see, now we have a completely blank model. To create a new model from scratch, we basically need add a new member, add a new load case and new operation functions. An alternative way to add a new element is, right-clicking on members here and select new member. We can select or define a new member cross-section here, in this cross-section navigator window. There are four types of typologies here and these are, hot-rolled cross-sections, welded or composed profiles, cold-formed profiles and timber sections. I am going to select I sections from this fairly extensive catalog. Then a second window will open. We can select the cross-section and material here. The name of the cross-section will automatically change according to our selection. However, we can change the name again. Let's imagine that I could not find the section I was looking for. In this case, I have also the option to generate a new cross-section. To do this, click here and I can modify all the parameters of the cross-section in this new window. I also can change the material from here, and with this plus button I can upload a new material from library. Under the section welded and composed, we will have cross-sections composed of various profiles. If we choose for example this double C, the software asks me to choose the type of one profile. The new window also asking us the distance between two profiles and material. Like the rolled sections, the welded has a generator, in metric size. Similarly, we will be able to see many different cross-sections in the cold form title. When you put the mouse cursor on each, the name of related cross-section will appear. And again they are metric size cross-section. If I click on one of these cross-section, we can see the image and all the geometric parameters here in the new window. Now let's create the first member by clicking on Add a New Member button, and select L Type Profile, and L 100 x 50 of 6 mm thickness. Here we have our first member.